I thank God I made it here. I almost didn't make the show here tonight, but I'm grateful I had the chance to be here because I was watching the weather report, and when you watch the weather report, you can't find out the weather, so I didn't know what to wear, what to go, what to put on. <laughs> but you can't leave the house without hearing the weather report. But in this country, when you hear the weather report, they tell you everything except the weather. They never tell you the weather. You're dying to know if it's hot or cold. In, in America, if you want to know if it's hot or cold, they tell you. Here, they don't tell you. They tell you there's a wind coming from Philadelphia, it's going through New Zealand. It's coming from Turkey, it's going around the mountain. It's going into an ocean around the river. Is it hot or cold, you Nazi bastard? That's all I want to know. They will not tell you if it's hot or cold. <laughs> they tell you it's a high wind, a low wind, a wind, a low wind, a high wind. Let me ask you a question. When you leave the house, do you care if the wind is high or low? Does you care if it's high? You're going to walk like this? Or they tell you the wind is northwest by southeast. Who cares? You have to walk out of the house one day. Oh, it's northwest? Oh, yeah, I'm going this way. <laughs> oh, it's southeast. I better go. <laughs> they give you all the information you don't want to know. You only want to know if it's hot or cold. You can't find out. You can't find out. I'll tell you it's a high tide, a low tide. You got a boat in the living room. Do you care? <laughs> or they tell you the temperature at the airport. Who lives at the airport? Nobody lives. Is it hot or cold, you Nazi bastard? They won't tell you. Now they give you two temperatures. It's 40 degrees, but with the wind chill factor, it's two. And everybody's walking around. Is it 40 or is it two? Well, let's be honest about it. Do you feel two temperatures? Either you feel 40 or you feel two. I never heard a guy say, I feel 40, but with the wind chill factor, I feel two. So I tell you, it's raining, but without the rain, it's dry. Now they tell you about barometric pressure. You want to know if you can get out of the house, you have to listen to a whole list of stories about barometric pressure. When you're sitting in the house, tell the truth. You ever stop to wonder what the barometric pressure is? You ever hear a guy say, I'm not leaving the house. Why? The barometric pressure. You ever hear a guy say, we canceled the bar mitzvah. Why? The barometric pressure. Do you understand this? It wasn't easy for me to perform. I just came from a hospital, and thank God I'm feeling better now. And you know, when you go into a hospital now in this country, they have all this uh, business with the uh, national health insurance. So they give you tests that you don't need, that's like no purpose. You can't go into any hospital here without them giving you an application. It says on the application right away, the first thing on the application, what is your height? Let me ask you a question. Did you ever see somebody pass away from too much height? Did any doctor ever say to you, if you stay this height, I can't help you? <laughs> Let me ask you another question. What is your mother's maiden name? You can become a president of a country without knowing your mother's maiden name. But if you're passing away from misery, what is your mother's maiden name? I know a guy didn't know his mother's maiden name. They threw him out. I can't help you. You have to know your mother's maiden name. And sooner or later, at every hospital, <laughs> they're going to give you an enema. You're never in a hospital more than 10 minutes without some yenta hollering, it's time for an enema. What are you here for? I came to visit my sister-in-law. <laughs> and I had an Indian doctor. Do you ever have these Indian doctors? Every time you go into a taxi, who's driving the taxi? An Indian. But in the hospitals, they're all doctors. Ordinarily, when you meet a Jew, he's a doctor. But in the hospital, it's just the opposite. Every patient is a Jew, and every doctor is an Indian. And these Indians don't care if you live or die. They could kill us, they pick up a chart. Look at the look at the look at the look at the I see by this chart that you walk at the look 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 at the You take this little, not little, little water. Twice a day, when the, the beagle, you will take the pill called look in the pocket. The second pill you will take is look in the pocket. And then the third one, look in the gun, look in the pocket, three times a day. Could you repeat that? Could you repeat what I told you? Look in the pocket. No, look in the pocket, look in the pocket, look in the pocket. 